Okay, so tonight we caught a decent sized soft shell turtle. Not as big as the one the other day. No. But the it's still pretty good size. probably about 50% bigger than this. Yeah. One. But we've already we've already dispatched it. He dispatched it. And we've let it bleed out some. And now he is going to try to do the butchering part. Now we have never done this before, so it's going to be awkward. Because we already know that their legs uh, will pull in and out. Just as if they're still alive. And there's no way this turtle's alive. No. Its head is gone. Yeah, the head is and gone. And it's bled out for about 30 minutes. Yeah, so there's no way, but it's just a nerves, I guess. Yeah. Just uh, reflect, reflex nerves. Yeah. It's just something you, all, turtles do it, reptiles, uh, snakes do it. Yeah, they frog, all do frog it. Frog legs do it. Yeah, they'll all do it. So he's going to get started on this. And what are you going to do first? Cut the bottom I shell? Guess, yeah, I'm going to try to cut this bottom shell off of here. Okay. And then pull that out and then try to just skin. Skin the legs skin off? Skin the legs out, yeah. Okay. Where's your? What? What do you got to cut it out with? Well, I'm going to just start with the flay knife to See if it'll get cut. under here, yeah. Okay. We've gone to uh, YouTube school on this. Yeah, watched a couple of videos to try to prepare. Yeah. Hang on. Okay, just going to use a fillet knife to to loosen the. What's the? What do you the call pla it? The plaster. Is that what it's the so bottom, the, the bottom, the bottom shell. Yeah, the belly part of the shell. Let me get this pretty. See where it's attached right here. Yeah. Oh, there's ants on the pruners. Oh boy. Is that a cat? I hope it's a cat down there. Anyway. Try to try to break through this bone here. It's not very good pruners. No. You break your table and spray no. pressing down on it. It's breaking. Okay. I'll let you get that part taken care of and I'll cut, bring you back. Okay, this part is open up. Don't be freaked out by the legs. They don't know what they're doing. So now what do you got to do? You got to pull the legs and cut the legs out. See these are like the shoulder blades. Yeah. Here, cut the, cut the legs out. This part should come out as one piece. Okay. You can see how they're connected right there at the hip bone. Yeah. But skin them like anything else. Yeah. You know, they should, the legs should come right out of the skin. You need the skin and polish? No, I don't think so. Careful in that knife towards your I fingers. Know. out uh my late husband always talked about eating turtles and he said they were very very good so this is our first try and maybe our last try i don't know but everybody that eats them says that they're very tasty it's a lot of work though to clean them they might be real good though so who knows yeah Okay, I'll bring you back when we get a little more uh, clean done. Okay, oh, so far one leg removed. There's the Got shoulder a, blade right yeah. here. And another connecting bone. Yeah. But And a lot of fat that will have to be yeah, trimmed off. All this, you want to trim all the yellow fat off. They say that it tastes real bad. It will ruin everything cooked on it. But, yeah. Uh, 
and quite so, a fair, fair amount of meat, it yeah. seems like. And still got to <clears> skin the... Yeah, I need to skin the foot here. I guess get the foot off of there. Probably cut the claws off, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Might end up just deboning everything. I don't know. Yeah, probably, probably be the best. So. Debone it, maybe do a salt brine. Yeah. And then, uh, cook it. Which yeah. we're not going to cook it tonight. Mm -mm. Probably not going to cook it tomorrow because you're going to be visiting right. others. So uh, we'll just bag it and put it on ice and then cook it the next day. Okay, looks like we've got, I'm going to have to trim the fat off of these. This is the hind legs. It's all one piece because it's connected here. The hip bone here is all, it's all yeah. one piece. Yeah. So. so that's the back legs. I already trimmed all the fat off the front legs here. And this girl had some eggs in her. A few small undeveloped eggs. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's the tail. The tail is also their vent. Their cloaca. Yeah. But everything comes out of the tail. On yeah. Soft shell turtles. You just have to trim around it. For it to get the yeah so you don't get off. any of the contaminants in the meat you can kind of see under here uh, if you was to dig if you just really keep going you could yeah. probably get more meat some back straps or something right of course this one's not all that big so it might not it's be probably not there. worth it yeah yeah but so there all right I hope this same, with the, same with the neck the neck on a bigger turtle might have a lot of meat on a it. A fair amount of meat. Yeah. As you can see there's, because they have really strong necks. Yeah. And uh, it might be worth, something worth getting on a bigger turtle. Yeah. But. Okay. So now we just got to trim the fat off of this one. There, see that bright yellow fat. We'll get that all trimmed off. And then debone it. We're going to completely debone it and just have uh, nuggets that we're going to cook. But for right now, this is probably about it for us mm -hmm. tonight because it's really late. And it didn't smell bad. I expected it to smell bad when I got it open. Yeah. But it didn't really smell like anything at all. Right. So, yeah. That was kind of surprising. Yeah. <clears throat> so there you go. We got this turtle cleaned. We'll try it in a day or two. I guess we'll put it on ice. Like yeah. we do, do with everything. And then Tuesday, maybe, try cooking it up. See how that goes. And as far as I know, there's no canning recipes for turtle meat. So, unless one of the uh, uh, extension agencies somewhere has, has something for included in their game meat. I don't know. But... But there won't be enough here to worry about that anyway. Mm -hmm. By the time we do bone it, meal. yeah, then uh, then we'll fry it for fish, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Just cut up in nuggets, like little fish nuggets. Mm -hmm. But, and, uh, I mean, there's a, you can see there's a fair amount of meat on these hind legs, especially. Yeah, they're probably they're the strongest ones. They yeah. probably do more swimming with those. So. And it's pretty white looking. Yeah, up here where it was... Uh, where it didn't really get used, whereas inside the shell, yeah, it's pretty white looking, and then yeah. obviously here and on that, the legs that, that move themselves, right. swimming it's around dark. and stuff, it's dark meat. Yeah. But yeah. Well, we're, anyway, we're gonna try it, and when we do, I will bring you back for a new video for that. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.